Crow Patrick, also known as the Reek, stands 765 metres above sea level. It attracts thousands of pilgrims all year round to not only worship but also see the magnificent views of Clue Bay. Crow Patrick has been a site of pilgrimage since before the arrival of Celtic Christianity. St. Patrick reputedly fasted on the top of Crow Patrick for 40 days and 40 nights. At the end of the 40 days, he threw a silver bell down the side of the mountain, knocking the she-demon Curra and thus banishing all the snakes from Ireland. We're here with Dick Harnady from the Mayo Mountain Rescue Team. Dick, tell us, for people planning to do the climb, have you any advice on what to wear or how to prepare? Um, well, first of all, you'd want uh, strong boots, um, uh, waterproof jacket and waterproof clothing, uh, bring some food and water, maybe a walking stick. Um, be prepared for uh, four to six hours walking. Uh, it's much colder on the top than down here. It can be up to 10 degrees uh, colder, especially during the winter. I understand. Um, just, just don't rush. Take your time. You know, it, it, up near the cone there is, is quite uh, slippery, especially on the way down. A lot yeah. of the accidents happen on the way down. And would you generally have to be a very good climber to do the climb, or do all types climb it? Uh, all types, young and old. Uh, just, uh, you have to be, you know, just take your time. Do it, do it at your own pace. At your own pace. That's very, very good. important. The views from the summit are said to be amazing and this tourism TV crew will definitely be back in the proper gear to film from the top. Every year the last Sunday in July is called Reek Sunday where up to 20,000 pilgrims will climb the mountain, some of them barefoot.